Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound system demo of the 2022 Nissan Leaf and its 7-speaker Bose audio system. This is going to be an end-depth review, we're going to take a look at how the infotainment system works, take a look at audio adjustments, controls, inputs, speaker locations, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, then get out on the road and listen to these sample tracks while we're rolling, I'll give you my thoughts at the end. Now if you don't care about any of that stuff at the beginning, you just want to hear the music, click ahead in the video, we've got chapters to get you right to the tunes. And if you're sick and tired of hearing the same songs week in and week out on every test, sign up to become a Daily Motor member. There you can hear customized audio tests with songs requested by viewers just like you, all the members. You can also see some behind the scenes footage and support Daily Motor. So if you're interested, check that join button or the link in the description to become a Daily Motor member. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a look at the car. Nissan's classic electric vehicle, the Leaf. One of the first on the scene, now in a later generation. Looking better, even if it is a little bit mousy, in my opinion. Does have some steep competition these days, however. So this one is the top trim, coming in about $45,000, but the Leaf is actually the least expensive electric vehicle on the US market right now in its 40 kilowatt hour trim. So if you do want to see more on the car, check the links in the description. We've got some comparison videos, a range test, and of course, a DM test drive. Now we always do these tests with lossless, uncompressed WAV audio files on a USB stick plugged directly into the system, and high quality Roland binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic audio system demo on YouTube. We also do the test with the sound settings set to their factory default. So let's take a look at those now. Even though this system does look a bit simple and uh, low res, I actually appreciate it because it's simple, easy to use, straightforward, and most importantly, responsive. Like if I were to go home, comes right up, got your audio screen, not really any delays in any of those. Go to settings, whoops, sound, yeah, bass adjustment, treble adjustment, your standard front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance, and a speed sensitive volume control. Surprisingly, no mid range, but let's go through bass and treble. Audio controls in the Leaf, you've got a nice volume knob here on the left side of the wheel, or left side of the screen. Severe thunderstorm warning around current location. Oh, okay, well, good to know. Hopefully we get through this first. It's got nice clicks, easy to use. You also have volume on the left side of the steering wheel. For track selection, you've got physical buttons here, a physical knob there. You can use the touch screen if you're in the audio screen, or physical right here on the left side of the wheel. I love having all those controls and Love having track selection and volume control right next to each other. For audio inputs in the Leaf, you have your standard AM, FM, Sirius XM satellite radio, USB A, USB C, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, and that is it. So, what does that mean you're missing? Well, no 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, no disc input, and no wireless CarPlay in Android Auto, but you do still have Type C, so that is a nice addition. For speaker locations, like I said, this is a seven speaker system. So starting in the bottom left, you have one in the door, two tweeter, three, four on the other side. Coming into the second row, you've got six and five door speakers there. I don't know why I counted them out of order. And for your subwoofer, number seven in the back, this big, interestingly shaped Bose unit just plopped right in the back there. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay demonstrations. Let's start off with Android Auto first. So this is interesting. I'm not getting Android Auto coming up at all from this Type-C port. So I'm actually gonna try turning off our music, unplugging that and plugging into the main USB-A port here, see if that's any different. Yeah, there we go. Right when I plugged into the USB-A port, I got an Android Auto prompt. So I don't know if it's my adapter or what, but something about that Type-C port it didn't want to play music earlier, and it also didn't want to do Android Auto. So that's surprising, because it does have a little data thing next to it. But either way, we should be able to bring up Android Auto. There we are. We've got Waze coming right up. There is YouTube Music. Come on, go away. YouTube Music. Not the highest resolution, but it does seem to be responding well. And your settings screen. All right, how about Apple CarPlay? There we are. We've got CarPlay up. Looking good, taking up the whole screen. There's your maps right there. 
Apple Music, and Settings. All right, let's get the tunes going again and get out on the road. are working overtime to really provide a, a good amount of high-end crispness. In fact, when I was testing the system on my other songs, I had to actually turn the treble down. That's not too common of an occurrence. I would like to have a little bit more bass too, so I'd probably do treble down a few, bass up about one. And again, shame there's no mid-range adjustment because it is coming through a little bit strong. But overall, a uh, decent sound but needs a little bit of work on balancing. Let's go to the next song, we'll test out the bass. It's a little sloppy, but we've certainly heard worse. 
my thoughts on the seven speaker Bose audio system here in the 22 Nissan Leaf. It's actually a little bit better than I expected. To be honest, most of this car is built at a price point. It's a little bit econo car feeling in here and I expected a econo car sound system. It's not fantastic, it's not gonna blow your ears off, but I was expecting maybe D, E range and it's getting a C. Very okay, makes okay sounds. You're gonna be able to listen to most of your music, even a little bit more complex style music. Fine, it's gonna be okay. You might wanna make some tweaks. I don't think the uh, factory EQs are the best way to go, but we've definitely heard worse. So subjectively and objectively speaking, this thing's getting a C. If you do wanna see more on the Nissan Leaf, check the links in the description. We're testing the highway range right now. Getting, uh, we just have 48% battery left with 90 miles down, so car should be able to do about 170 miles, give or take, at about 70 miles per hour. But to see what our actual results are once we get back and charged up, check the links in the description and we've got a DM test drive as well. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor and as always, drive on.